Hey everybody, it's Jamie from the Marine Doctor's YouTube channel and today we're going to take an 8 horsepower engine and bolt on a 9.9 .9 horsepower carburetor onto it. We'll then run it in the tank and see if it creates more power than the original 8 does. For those of you that don't know, I used to run a forum, I had 11,000 members on it and I discontinued it in 2011. I've since started a Discord channel to carry on my tradition of answering marine questions for people. The Discord link is below. Is it worth extra money to upgrade from an 8 to a 9.9? .9? We're going to find that out today. So an 8 horsepower engine would be great, say, for a, well, a nice sunny day, a dolphin swimming around, whereas the 9.9 .9 might be needed for shark infested waters or there's a big storm blowing in. Either way, we're going to find out today which engine is best for you. What I tell people when they want to purchase engines here is you want to maximize the horsepower for the boat that you have. That way, if you ever need the power, you're always going to have it. That doesn't necessarily mean that the 9.9 .9 is better than the 8. All right, let's get to that video. So for this test, we will be using the TA100 Smart Tack. It measures four cycle, RPM, minimum, and maximum. The one that we'll be most concerned about will be the maximum RPM. What we want to determine is if the 8 or the 9.9 will have the higher RPM, which should tell us which one has more power. So the two major differences between the two engines are the prop. I think there's half a pitch larger on the 9.9 .9, and the carburetor. The belief is that if we swap the carburetor out, we should be able to take the eight up to 9.9 .9 horsepower. Now this carburetor that we see here is a 9.9 .9 horsepower carburetor, and that's what's gonna be bolted onto that eight horsepower engine. The prop that we're going to use is a standard prop, I believe, that comes with the eight. And either way, it wouldn't matter. We would just have less RPM or more RPM based on whichever prop it is but that's gonna be the test. And again, this is gonna tell us if it works or if it doesn't work. All right, so just need to add fuel. All right, the eight is in the tank and it's just about ready to go. I just have to prime the fuel, turn on the fan, get it started, get it warmed up. We'll spin it up to maximum RPM. We'll get that reading and see what it is. Then leaving the engine in the tank, I'll swap out the carburetor and put the 9.9 .9 one on, get it back up to operating temperature, run it at full throttle and record the results. You know the fan is running, we're going to hear it in the background, I apologize, but it's something that I have to run for my own safety. So let's go ahead and get this started. Choke. Make sure we're in neutral. We are already uh, primed this with fuel, and let's take a guess. Second pull. One, two, up. Oh. All right, we're gonna go to a half choke. Oh, that's why it was hard to start. The choke isn't hooked up. So I think what happened with this is a customer came in and needed a choke knob. So we popped one off of, of this engine, sold it to him, and then whoever put this back in neglected to hook it back up. But that's okay, you can actually see these do start without the choke. All right, let's let it warm up. Something I've noticed with all of these eights and nine nines is when we initially go off choke and attempt to throttle up, the engine pops and dies. Let's see if it's gonna do it for us today. Yeah, 
So once we restart this engine, it should run. So yeah, these are these are not loud at all versus that little uh, 1.5 Clinton. Excuse the hose. I had to fill the tank. That was loud. Get that carburetor off. And swap in the 99 carburetor. The eight horsepower carburetor going over to the bench. This is an insulator, and all it does is act as a barrier between the carburetor and the intake. It does not have anything to do with eight to 9.9 .9 horsepower. It doesn't restrict. Everything's lined there. Turn it in. Light tap. All right, here we go. Nine point nine horsepower. Choke is off. We'll let it warm up for a little bit first, then we'll run it up to see where we get. I just stopped the engine because I wanted to say this without the fan being over top. One major thing I noticed between the two and a half to the three and a half, and also the eight and the 9.9 .9 is the running characteristics of the larger horsepower engine seem to be better. So this is noticeably smoother than the eight was. And I want to say the same thing about the three and a half and the two and a half. More powerful engine runs, in my opinion, or what I'm seeing, better. All right, let's get this started back up. Okay, let's talk results. The RPM on my gauge was jumping around considerably, so I did my best just to create an average number of what I saw. So taking into account those numbers, I believe there's roughly a 300 RPM difference between the two engines. So the carburetor definitely does make a difference, but is it worth the difference in the price or the cost to upgrade to that carburetor? Carburetors typically five, $600, or if you purchase an engine from say an eight to a nine, it might be upwards of $700. So that's a consideration to take into account. So I guess we, we come away with knowing this, 
it does make more power. It's just gonna come down to user case if you wanna spend that kind of money to get that little extra power. All right, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, so on and so forth. Discord channel linked below. Uh, we now have memberships. If you guys wanna support the channel directly for $4.99 a month, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.